guys, today I'm going to show you my April favorites. So starting off with body and makeup products, um, my first thing that I have is this Dr. Woods Shea Vision. Um, it's, in a, it's actually a bunch of different things, but I use it for face wash and body wash sometimes. But you can use it in your bath, in your shower, as a facial cleanser, and also it says for all natural cleansing, use far, four parts of water, so one part Dr. Woods for dishes, floors, counters, and more. And it contains no animal ingredients, no artificial ingredients, and is not tested on animals, also no parabens, sulfates, or anything like that. So I really like this. Um, black soap is good for skin that has blemishes or it helps clear skin blemishes and prevent premature facial lines so I like that it's all like natural oils like olive oil and hemp oil and stuff um the next thing I got this on sale at Target of course um it's a body wash bergamot what is this brand boots it's boots um it's just like a bergamot body wash and it has um, does it have little beads in it? No, not really. It doesn't really have beads, but it's made out of the bergamot oil and honey, and it smells amazing. Okay, the next thing I have is I bought this on Amazon because there's a lot of retinol creams on the market that are so expensive, and you can't get Retin-A over the counter, but you can get Retinol, and Retinol is just a whole lot of vitamin A. I don't know if this was in my last favorites video, but it's a favorite for this month also. Um, it's by the brand Good and Natural. Bought it off Amazon because I just wanted to find the cheapest kind of cream like this because I never really use a cream at night. And this is definitely more of a night cream than a day cream. It's a little heavier, but it wasn't greasy at all. And it helps with like um, your wrinkling, age marks, premature lines, and that kind of stuff. And oh yeah, like acne scars, sunspots. It helps fade it with a high dose of vitamin A. It helps like regenerate your skin faster. So that is definitely another favorite. And now I will go on to the actual makeup items. So for makeup, the first thing that is a favorite of mine this month is the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer by Maybelline. Now this is a very um, highlighting concealer, so I use it underneath my eyes um to up to the like highlight um cheekbone area and a little bit here and a little maybe on the bridge of my nose or the sides of my mouth wherever i want to have more of an illuminated effect and it works really well and it was on sale at target for like way cheaper than it used to be like six bucks or something so i got that and that is really definitely a favorite um recently i found that um, Garnier has a oil-free version of their BB creams. Now, all last summer I used their other BB cream, which is the same thing as this, but just it had like a, um, a more wide package, and it was not oil-free, and it definitely, like, my skin is combination, so it does have some dry patches, so I didn't really mind it, but throughout the summer, as it progressed to, like, August, my skin definitely felt a little bit more like, you know, oily, but nothing like a matte, you know, um, just a matte powder wouldn't fix, but I found that they have an oil and it has sunscreen in it. It's just a smaller package. I don't know why they did this, but I think it's about the same amount of product. And when this one came out on my hand, when I first got it, it was like, or like it's still kind of orange on my hand. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I tried it on my face and I didn't even, this was like a couple months ago and I didn't even get to use it yet. Uh, Cause my face would just, it didn't like go with the tone of my face. It was way too orange. So like all I did was go out in the sun just a couple of days, not really long at all. I used sunblock and everything anyway. And now it matches my skin much better. When I first put it on, like every time I do it, it does look a little orange. But it kind of oxidizes and blends with my skin tone perfectly once it's on. You just have to make sure you blend it out good. Um, otherwise, besides the scary orange effect in the beginning, it's definitely a favorite. <laughs> um, this. This is going to be like holy grail forever. Um, 
It's the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. It's a little dirty right now. In the color Hibiscus. And this is, I like tinted lip balms and lip stains. I don't really like wearing like lipstick, like a, like a pinkish color, but it's more like lip tone colored. So it's a little bit coral, a little bit pink. It's just like the perfect nude kind of color. Just like your lips feel better. So for hair, um, I recently lightened my hair as you can see in my previous videos. And what I've been doing to maintain it is using one of my favorite shampoos. Um, and I really recommend it if you have blonde hair or highlighted hair. It really helps with the tone. Um, it's Shimmer Lights. A lot of you may know about this. You can get it at Sally's. Um, it's for blonde slash silver hair and it enhances and helps highlight and um, tone down the brassiness of your hair. Um, as you can see, it's completely purple, so when you put it on your hair, it's all purple. Um, but yeah, purple shampoos are really good for if you have highlighted or, you know, blonde hair and you want to help tone the brass out. Um, this is kind of like the color that I want. I like this base color as a base, um, but I might highlight it slightly in the summer. I don't know, just for a little bit of dimension. I'm using along with that shampoo, I've been using the John Frieda Go Blonder Conditioner and this stuff smells so good. It really just reminds me of summer. I can't even explain how good it smells, but it's supposed to like gradually lighten your hair. I don't know what's in it. It's, it claims, I know this whole thing about the John Frieda um, and the peroxide supposedly being in it even though it says ammonia and peroxide free. Um, but I don't know what it is. It says chamomile and like sunflower seed extract. So I don't know if it's that and then you go in the sun or heat that, you know, makes it happen. But it does, it does work. I also have the spray, but that one's definitely a favorite for this month. And my last hair product that is my favorite is the best packet of a deep finisher that I've ever bought. It was only like a buck. And I got this at a local beauty supply by me called Shapers. And it really, it was just like a dollar or something. And it's the high pro pack for extremely damaged hair. It's intense protein treatment. Like it smells like hand soap, but it really makes my hair, like the day after I bleached and high lifted and everything to my hair. So I was like, oh, my hair's not gonna feel the same. I know I bleached it, it's gonna feel like straw. And it did, and then I used this and it was like brand new hair. It felt like, like once you feel it go in your hair, you're like, oh my God, it's amazing. So those are my hair. Foo! But Nutella, and I like to pair it with these gluten-free pretzels by the brand Glutina. Yeah, Nutella and pretzel is just the best. Um, and another snack that I like to eat is these, or these. Um, they're called Nut Thins. They're by Blue Diamond, and they're gluten-free because they're made just out of nuts. I think they're both made out, yeah, these are both made out of almonds. These are just two different flavors. This is Hint of Sea Salt, and this is Cheddar Cheese. My mom got this for me at King Collin, I think, yeah, King Collin. And then I bought this at the Christmas Tree Shop. This is like a place in um, our outlet center nearby my house. So Christmas Tree Shop, King Collin, I've seen it at both of those and I think you can get it probably any kind of health food store like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's you can probably find it there if, you, if not I'll link it down below you can find it online if it's that hard anything that you need to figure out I will leave links down below so you can find um and I love also the gluten-free Annie's little bunny snacks I tried the cocoa and vanilla ones those were good and now I have Snickerdoodle. Um, I love all the flavors. So Annie's bunny snacks are definitely another favorite. And I don't have them right now because I ate them, but Aunt, um, what you call it? The brand Amy's. They're enchiladas with cheese. They're gluten-free and they're so good. Favorite apps. I'm gonna have to go with something pretty obvious. I'm squinting. Vine. Vine is such a cool app. I'm not sure if I put this in my last favorites. I know I did the like photo editing things in my last favorites, but 
vine is just my favorite of the month because I've been just screwing around with it and doing stop motion things and it's been so fun. So download vine and you can follow me on there if you want to see me be a loser. Um, and if I were to pick another app that would be my favorite this month, it's probably the weather app that comes with your iPod or iPhone because I've been just checking the weather and waiting for it to get warmer here. For favorite TV things, Lost. That's all my favorites for this month. Just a quick video, just about a couple things. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, any links that you might need are down below in the description bar, whatever I can find. Make sure to check out my video for Mother's Day gift ideas. I'll leave it down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. favorite, favorite, um, shampoos, and I really recommend this if you have blonde hair. Ah! Oh my god, food!